50. So we're at uh, 50 watts right now uh, running our generator. Um, so the rabbit ears. Uh, here's our water. Our pump circulating. This is the back of the unit. We're using a ceramic uh, blanket to protect the uh, PEX tubing and the bottom of the unit to deflect some of the heat, as you can see here. Um, and this is uh, pretty cold. I can touch it. It's it's hot to the touch, but you can touch it. So it's it's it is definitely not overheating. Is protecting this whole area here and that's why we're using this ceramic blanket with an aluminum and it extends as you can see to the back to protect the tubing and that will be coming with the unit um, and again I can touch it and not burn myself so it is fairly cool to the touch this is obviously cool to the touch too so this is deflecting all this is actually cool right here and I can touch this so that is doing its job to protect the unit from overheating. Um, the bronze is a result of the heat. Um, the hot side couplers are black, new, but as you use them, you get a gold bronze color. Um, and here we are running. And uh, so that's the unit, the rabbit ears. This is our final testing. We've tested uh, over about three to four months. Um, and out of, out of those three to four months, we've used the same unit over and over again. Um, we haven't changed anything uh, except the blanket. And we lowered um, the cold side get a more consistent burn and that's the unit so we're estimating about 50 watts out of this unit average sometimes higher sometimes lower depending on uh, the burn rate and your your liquid temperature um, liquid temperature is probably around 65 66 degrees in the bucket um, it's about 24, 25 degrees here today. That's C, so about 75 degrees Fahrenheit today. Um, and there you have it.